have you guys seen the poker cards? Yes. These are the ones you see in image are poker cards, planning poker cards. This one. So this is this is these are nothing but a plain cards with Fabonicci series printed on them. Okay. So what exactly we do? Let's start. So in this in this kind of a uh, uh, estimation technique, complete team is involved. Scrum master is there. Product owner is there. Okay, so what is the responsibility of a product owner? Why would product owner be needed there? He would uh, know the product well and any enhancement, addition, removal, and any release plan. And, and why would be the why would he be scrum master there? Why would we need scrum master? He knows the processes about the agile, uh, so he can he take care. Of he would guide team. He would not let them deviate. Right, right. From the agile. Yes. So what happens is, each team member is given a complete deck. Deck as in, uh, he would have all the cards with numbers one, two, three, five, eighteen, uh, eight, uh, thirteen, and so on. Okay. Okay. And on a big screen. Scrum master would have all the requirements listed in the priority. Fine. So scrum master would read each requirement one by one. Okay. And team would estimate it there in a common room. They will discuss that and come with the and vote. So like uh, uh, had we been there in the common room, I would have read the requirement, you guys would have thought it and then you would have, once I say show, you would show the card. Like if you felt some story is 5, you would have shown the card of 5. We will uh, do a game to explain this question, this, okay? okay. And then probably Devajyoti said 3 and uh, Mathur said 8. Devajyoti and Mathur would discuss, they would have they would ask questions to product owner, product owner would resolve their queries and there is then again after all the queries are resolved there happens a second round of voting. After 60 seconds scrum master again asks show and then they show a card again. Like it could be now 553 and now the estimate is 5. Okay. So here the only catch is, so even after, after three sets of voting, the estimates come like 3, 5 and 8, in that case a mean value, average value is taken and estimate would be considered as 5. Okay, you don't go beyond uh, three, three sets of voting. Okay. Uh, let's take an uh, example. Give me, uh, give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Vikas, you know, you know, green wall is not coming out. You know, so many. You know, the green wall is just the birthday of frog. Better red or green wall is going to come out. Okay. 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 In this case, this is the estimation team. <clears throat> this is my estimation team, which is Ted, Hugh, and Bob. My facilitator is Ralph. He could be the scrum master, and the, my product owner is Kelly. Okay. Okay. So when I say we begin the first round of <coughs> voting, uh, facilitator Ralph would ask Ted, Hugh, and Bob to vote. Based on the requirement, as a student, I want to purchase a parking pass so that I can drive to school. Estimation teams can choose to ask questions to the product owner or maybe they can have their own assumptions. Okay? okay. Now, when Ralph says vote, what does Ted, Sue and Bob say? Okay. Bob says 8, Sue says 5, Ted says 3. Here, Ralph would ask Bob, why does he think it's 8 and Ted, why does he think it's 3? Let's hear out what Bob and Ted. So now Bob says, 
pass can be issued only for one month. Hence, I would have to renew it every month. So I so since it would have renew renewal policy every month, it's a complex. It, it is a little complex story. But Ted says, oh, I thought one pass would work for whole year, so I just issue it once and it's done. So I thought it's three. Okay. So they have now they tell what they thought. Based on the inputs given by Ted and Bob, Kelly will Kelly being the product owner would clarify. So now Kelly says, oh, I just wrote a pass, but it should be a monthly pass. And without student ID, passes will not be issued. The, uh, so right now there was a there were some changes in the requirement. As a student, as a student, I should be able to issue a monthly pass. So that without student ID, passes will not be issued. Now based on the inputs given by Kelly, Ralph would again ask us go for a second round of vote round of voting. Oh, and another thing could be, there could be a question as well. When he gives that information, Sue might ask, what's an ID? So Kelly would clarify, it's that students would be currently enrolled and has a proof. Okay, there could be cross questions as well. There could be deviations as well. And the deviation could be, I lost, Bob saying, I lost my ID. And then Ralph being the scrum master would guide the team to stay focused because that's not part of the discussion. Okay, now Ralph Ford again asked to go for a second round of voting or if there are more questions they could be clarified. Like here the other question was how many passes can one student buy? So the product owner says it's just one student per pass. So now you are getting the acceptance criteria is defined, right? So even for a testing team, these acceptance criteria would matter because the test scenarios would, would be based out on these. Right? Yes. In this discussion, you are also defining your acceptance criteria. Since now there are no more questions, so Ralph asks for us new voting. Now this time Bob says three, Sue has five and Ted has eight. Did you notice the requirement, uh, the voting Numbers size completely changed. Last time Bob said 8, Ted said 3. Okay, so now Ralph will again question Ted and Bob. Why does he feel 8 and why does he feel 3? So the Bob would say last time Ted was right. It's simple, so renewal fresh passes every month instead of year. So no, nothing more, okay, instead of 365 days, I'm just putting three day, 30 days. So it's again simple. It's simple. Right? So Ted says no, Bob was right uh, last time, we would need aid because there would there is a renewal happening, we need to verify the ID as well, so it is a little complex, so it will take eight. Okay? So Sue says for me five is just right. Then Ralph asked Kelly to respond, if there, if there is something more to be added to the requirement, there are more acceptance criteria associated with it. Okay, so the Kelly says students without enough money would not be issued pass and it will be a renewal of existing passes. There would be no credit facility and it would be existing, no, no new passes would be uh, issued, it would be just the renewal. Okay, okay. So I suppose this, there are no more questions and they go over third, third round of voting. Now after this, everybody felt uh, it was 555 five, five, and the size of that story now with the consensus came out to be 5. Okay, now there was this question by uh, uh, Mathur that uh, uh, for whom the estimates would be done. Mathur, does that answer your question? Since Kelly product owners are involved at every stage, so it's the estimate which is done even for the client. So the estimates for client and for the internal teams are same. Because here you are not estimating the time, here you are estimating the complexity. Hmm. You might want to add some buffer when you, are, you go down to a complex uh, a time level, when you are going beyond complexities. 